This is the Alienware. It had a failed hard drive, freezing issues, and I've just replaced it. Uh, sorry, I've cloned it across to an SSD. And I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the hard drive with an SSD or another hard drive. This is the Alienware X51 R2. Never worked on one of these before, so let's give it a go. So this one has a Seagate one terabyte hard drive. Oh yeah, that's service tag information there. Wonder how this opens. Okay, I guess that slides out. There we go. So now there's your lighting cable. Be careful of that. Alright, so that's the hard drive we're going to replace. So let's get some tools and work on this. Should be an easy one. Okay, so by the looks of it, let's have a look at it first. One screw here. Uh, let's have a look at this screw first. Not sure what this screw does. Let's have a look. My bad, the hard drive is here. That's the graphic card. That's the graphic card sitting there. Yeah, no, sorry, that's the GPU. Hard drive is most likely here. Okay, sorry, mate, I'll put you back. Working on this area. One hard drive, one screw out. Hmm, so the hard drive is hidden. Okay. Alright, we do need to do a little bit of extra work. So this guy has to come out, the hard drive is underneath. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, take this front bit out to make more room. Okay, we're going to have to take that screw out again. By the looks of it, this should come out all together in one go. There we go. Nice. And that's the baby. Okay. You could use a hard drive tray to fit two and a half to three and a half. Simple as that. 
Now, do we need the tray? Maybe, maybe not. So the tray simply goes in like this. This is the SSD, 480 gig, which we've cloned. So that's just going to sit like that. So I'm going to use the Velcro. As usual, I can't find my scissors, but here it is. There is two sides to Velcro. So if this was to sit somewhere like that, sit somewhere here, it should be fine. There we go. That will never move. This is uh, an idea somebody suggested in the comments when I did a hard drive installation for a iMac. It's uh, while we're here, just clean up some of these fans here very quickly. And you can fit a decent graphic card in here, but I'm not sure if the power supply will take it. Maybe it will. It should. It's an external power supply, so you just need to meet the amount of amp requirements. Or you can make your own custom power supply. Good.
while we're here you can have a look at the inside what it looks like the ram front panel connectors whatnot usb interesting there's another fan here okay you could maybe put another ssd here uh yes no yes no you need to customize the power supply or split the sata into two you can get those adapters then you can put another ssd here which is not a problem Okay, I think that's it. That's how you simply replace the hard drive or graphic card or RAM. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.